What's up you guys? It's me Oleander and I'm back from Seattle. I don't have to go there anymore. Um, my son is home. He's doing really good. We like made some adjustments to our house and built the ramp and he is doing good. Like he's already regaining sensation and a tiny bit of mobility in his right thigh. They said that he would never walk again or regain anything. So just the fact that he is, I'm very hopeful. So we're going to put that behind us. He's doing really well. He is like already doing wheelies in that wheelchair and like going as fast as he can up and down that ramp, which I was scared of. But the kid's been on two wheels since he was four. So, I mean, I can't control it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move on from that. I do have some new responsibilities as far as that goes, but it's nothing that I can't handle. And he's taking it really well. Like he, he's having fun. <laughs> I want to tell you, he's having fun in that wheelchair. Every time he gets into it, he has a smirk on his face because he knows he's about to haul ass and do some crazy donuts and stuff. But I wanted to thank anybody that did any sort of healing work on him. Um, because I do attribute some of that to the healing work people do. I'm no healer, but I do know that it works. And I do know that the more energy put into the universe for any given situation does have an effect. So thank you guys. Um, let's see. I'm just rambling today. When the September full moon gets here, I wanted to do a free group on crossing. So I'm going to accept nine people. So the first nine people who leave a black heart in the comments below this video will secure their place in the ritual. Um, so leave a black heart if you want to participate in it. It's an uncrossing, which just pretty much gives you a clean spiritual slate as far as like witchcraft. So if It'll just clean your slate. That's how I like to look at it. Um, follow up the black heart with an email with your tag lock information. My email address is in the description of my channel. Mushroomforestcoven at gmail.com. And um, you'll secure your place in there. I can only accept nine people though. Um, so let's see. What else was I going to say? Um... I, I know, I've gotten emails for, from people who don't really like to comment on YouTube, you know, because they don't want to be exposed for being an occultist or so on and so forth. I understand all that. Um, I take client confidentiality to an extreme because of my education in forensic psychology. I was taught the most degree of client confidentiality. So I also have transferred that over into my religious practices. And that leads me to my next um, topic that I wanted to talk about. I view this as my religion. It's not a hobby to me. It never has been. Magic has never been a game to me. And I know that some other black magicians are in my orbit right now. I understand that they don't like the fact that I show my magic online. Um, they think it's for clicks and views and all that stuff. It's not. If you've known me since I first got here, you know that I separated myself from, from pretty much society um, for the last 14 years. I try not to be a part of it as much as I, as much as I can because I can see past the facade of the likes and the views and the, the look at me's things and you know, all that stuff. I don't want to be a part of it. However, I am a folk witch, although I am a black magician. I, I do specialize in folk magic. And in order to connect to the people who are the folk, the central point of, of folk magic is really the people and the service to the people. The way that I do that is by putting myself out there and showing them what I do and what I can offer. So I do that. Um, a lot of my black magic 
baneful magic, whatever you want to call it, malevolent magic, is I, I turn the comments and the likes off because it doesn't matter to me what, how many likes or how many comments I'm getting. It really doesn't. Um, and I've learned just by having to go out into society for the past month and a half and interact with so many people that I definitely need social skills training in order to um, be a part of society. I'm not willing to do that because I don't like, I don't like the way it's set up right now. All right. I don't like politics. I don't like I just don't like any of it and I try not to be a part of it, which is one reason why I'm way out here. But what I do like is to help people in my own way and my own way of doing it is literally witchcraft. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I'm i well aware that there are other black magicians in my orbit. I'm well aware that I've been hit. <laughs> I know. Um, they always seem to try to get me when I'm very busy or when I have something going on because I like to let the people that I do spells for know that like I'm not going to be around because I don't want to do work for somebody and then just like disappear for a month off the internet because I'm not like that. I don't want them to think like I'm ditching them or anything of that nature. So I let them know. That's putting me at risk because when I do that, they also know. Some of them don't like me simply because I share my spells. Some of them don't like me because there is kind of like an old code to witchcraft where you're really not supposed to give away secrets. I don't know why they're looking at me. I show about 30% of my magic and it's only the folk magic and I already explained why. But I don't sit down like an armchair occultist who are a dime a dozen I don't sit down and just spew out all the information that I have. What I am going to do one day though, and since I'm not in school anymore, what I'm going to do sooner than later is gather all of my occult writings and I'm going to refine them and I'm going to publish them. I know I said I was going to do that later on in life because I am still young. I'm in my 30s. I'm in my mid 30s. So I have time to perfect things and grow and gather more information, but there's no reason why I couldn't just do some now and then some later. Um, to those black magicians who don't like me or don't understand the kind of magic that I'm doing, which has been around since the 1980s, it involves technology, it involves using the internet and the new technology as a tool because whether we like it or not the I'm making a video internet or humanity sorry my son's out here on his wheelchair trying to do some wheelies off the the jumps magic is evolving with humanity so you can either fall behind or you can catch up or you can, well, what was I saying? Now I'm distracted. Don't be doing anything crazy, Eric. Huh? Don't be doing anything crazy. I almost died. I know you did now. Just be careful out here. Don't be going off that jump either. It's not a joke. All right. Sorry. I got distracted. I have like super distractible tendencies. Um, the kind of magic that I do involves technology. It's been around since the 1980s, so I don't understand why people haven't like accepted it yet or got with it, but technology is part of magic now. Magic is evolving with humanity the same way every other system is. So you don't have to like it. You don't have to do it. You don't, you can just fall behind. I don't really care. That really doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is when people target Mushroom Forest. That's what matters to me. 
the way that I grew up, there is no other place that I've ever lived. No other culture I've ever been a part of. No other religion I've had to, that I was subjected to, has ever been as important to me as what I'm doing now. So, I'm not going anywhere. No one's going to shove me out of my lane. You can send me whatever you want. But when I get time, I'm going to take that and I'm going to send it back, but I'm going to send it back much harder. And people can think that's cringe. They can think whatever they want about it. Magic has never been a toy to me. It's never been uh, a game. It's not a game. Some people might want like another battle of Blythe Road, but I just have to make it clear that I am as fucking crazy as Crawley. And I'll kick shit off just like Yates. So if we have to, then we will. I won't be moved out of my lane. And I completely understand the ego of the black magician. I get it because I have it too. I suffer from it. I think that most of us do. And, and if you say that you don't, then good for you. I don't know how you got rid of it, but I'm trying to work on that. I think it's just because we have a different kind of ability that's harder to come by. Most people aren't willing to indulge in it or practice it, whereas some of us are. So once we like realize what we're capable of, it does. It does give you a little bit, bit of an ego. However... I've never done anything to anybody except for show my magic online, except for, you know, talk my shit that I know what I'm doing and I'm good at it and I want to be recognized. I want to die a local legend. That's just how it is. I want to die as a local legend. I want the people, the black magicians of the future, the folk witches, the baneful witches, whatever you want to call them, the necromancers. I hope that they come and collect their graveyard dirt from my grave when I'm gone. And that's literally what I want. So, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. You can send what you want. I'm not saying that what happened to my son was caused by magic. I'm not saying that at all. Because in this human life, we are all going to suffer tragedy. We're all going to suffer from something. Because that is part of being human. None of us are going to get out unscathed. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish. It doesn't matter if you're Jehovah's Witness. It doesn't matter if you're a black magic practitioner. We are all going to be subjected to suffering in human life. There's no getting out of it. So mundane things still happen to witches. They still happen to every single one of us. None of us can see everything that's coming and none of us can always be hyper aware of tragic events that are coming. I did have a feeling of something bad happening. I just didn't think it was going to be to my bloodline. I thought it was going to be to maybe somebody I was watching over. Uh, like a famous person or a, a fucking politician. Which did happen soon after this incident. But... You know, I'm human. I'm trying to help people heal in my own way. I know curses and all this, it may look so evil from the outside, but the people that I'm cursing are rapists. They're, they're abusers. They've done horrible things to people and they've gotten away with it. So this is my way of helping them heal, okay? If you don't understand that, that's perfectly fucking fine. I will continue to share my magic and I'm not going anywhere. Neither is my style of magic. It's only going to get more popular. So, like I said earlier, if you want to be a part of the uncrossing with me, then go ahead and leave a black heart and follow up with your tag lock information to my email. And we will do that on September's full moon, which is September 17th, I think. And it is the harvest moon. And we'll, we'll, we'll have fun with it. So I will see you guys next time.